RGB Link isn't new to the industry of HDMI live streaming and gadgets. And today we're testing out the ASK Nano 4K. Yes, super tiny, affordable video transmission in 4K. Welcome back to the channel. Now, RGB Link does make two packages, if you will, of this. This is one receiver and one transmitter. They also make one with two receivers and one transmitter, and I'll explain how that one works as well. If you do have the two receivers, the one transmitter can transmit to both receivers at the same time, which is pretty handy for a lot of different jobs that you may be on. Now, although this may be super tiny, there is a lot to get to, so check this out. In the box, you get one receiver, one transmitter, two USB-A to USB-C cables, which allow you to power the devices if need be, and I'll explain that in a bit. You do get a male HDMI to female HDMI, two of them, which allows you to essentially extend this little setup, just in case you're trying to plug it into the back of a TV or you need a specific spot to plug it in that's quite awkward to neaten it up rather than having to use this thing just sticking out the back. You also get a female HDMI to micro and mini HDMI adapter, which allows you to plug this into either a mini HDMI or micro HDMI port if that is the device that you need. So perhaps your camera needs one of these, you can just plug it in like that. And that is it for what's in the box, the physical side and the features. Now the transmitter and the receiver are almost identical besides for the little TX and RX logo on the top, as well as the computer and TV logo that's situated on the top. Now that does make it a little bit easier if you're in a kind of rush, which sometimes you are. You're in a bit of a rush, you don't know what TX and RX means, the job's running late, someone urgently needs something, the laptop shows that is your input to stick it in the laptop and you wanna send it to the biggest screen, you can just plug that into the TV and that would be your TV logo. So pretty cool that they've put that on there just to make it a little bit simpler for some people. Now the receiver, as soon as you plug it into a TV is automatically in TX mode, which is your transmitter mode. In other words, it's looking for the signal from your transmitter that's either plugged into your laptop or your camera or whatever feed you're trying to send to the TV. Now it does have an option by pushing this little button to send it into mirror cast or airplay mode. And that is pretty cool. It allows you to toggle this and turn whatever device you are trying to display on into airplay mode. In other words, I could have a TV and airplay a video from an iPad, an iPhone or an Apple computer, or I can just use mirror cast for Android and send a video from my Android device straight to this device. So that can be on a TV, that can be in a mixer, whether it be an Atom or an RGB Link mixer, an OC Go stream, a roadcaster video, whatever it may be, you can use this now as an AirPlay or Miracast device. Now connecting a phone to Miracast or AirPlay is pretty simple. You just go to the Wi-Fi on the device and you search for your RGB Link and you connect to it and it's done. Now if you're asking yourself, but once I've connected to this, my mobile device no longer has an internet connection. Well, RGB Link actually thought of that, and this is pretty cool. At the top over here, you can see there's a little IP address. Now, once you've connected your iPhone or your Android device to this, you open up your internet browser and put in that IP address. It allows you to then search your network within there, your Wi-Fi at home or at the office, and put in your password, and then you connect to that Wi-Fi. Then you would just go back into your device and connect straight to your Wi-Fi using your normal Wi-Fi on your phone, essentially, disconnecting from this little device. What this does is it puts this device and your Wi-Fi network at home now on the same network so you can still select this as an AirPlay device. Much like if you have an Apple TV or some form of Android box at home and you just AirPlay to that device. So pretty cool little feature that they've added so that you can still have Wi-Fi if need be on the device that you need to AirPlay or Miracast with. What's really nice with AirPlay and Miracast is that it does send out a full 16 by nine feed when you are playing video or you are in, say for instance, Keynote or Microsoft PowerPoint. So you can just open Keynote on your Apple device and you can switch between all the Keynotes and see what slides are coming next. 
but you can send out the full 16 by 9 feed to this to be displayed correctly on a TV at the venue or within your live stream switcher. And yes, I have tested that the feed that comes out from the transmitter to the receiver is actually 3840 by 2160, the range test. Now it's great that it's a wireless system and by no means is it promising, like I said, 1,200 feet or 2,000 feet. And RGB link does claim around 40 meters. So let's test that. Now the first test we're gonna be doing is a non-line of sight. So the transmitter is other side my body and the receiver is connected to the OC monitor. As you can see over here, the drop frames start. So we decided to measure it. Once we've measured it out, you're looking at 10 meters. And now we're gonna do the exactly the same, but with line of sight. So keeping the transmitter and the receiver in the line of each other. And I think now is a good time to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Soundstripe. I've been with Soundstripe for over five years. They offer a pro plan, which gives you fully licensed music for every single job you need, whether it's for commercial use, television, or anything that you need, Soundstripe has you covered. Soundstripe also has an array of sound effects and so much more. And with their new edition of AI song editing, absolutely mind blowing. AI song editing allows you to quickly customize a song to a short 20 or 30 seconds by using a very, very clever drag and drop technique. And Soundstripe's AI song editing then blends that together without missing a beat, making it sound as if that track was customed just for you. If you wanna find out more, head over to www.soundstripe.com forward slash rich and Soundstripe will hook you up. Now, as you can see with the line of sight, it goes a lot further. So we decided to measure that out and we actually got to around 40 meters uh, by using a measuring wheel. So this definitely confirms that it's more than the 30 meters measured on the box. Honestly, I don't think the range is that bad. You're gonna be using this in a very controlled environment, whether it be at home in your TV, at the office, in a boardroom, a conference center, and you're gonna be plugging this and trying to get a feed from somewhere. A great use case for this would be to take your transmitter, plug it into the presenter's laptop, one receiver into the present TV and another receiver into your mixer so that you can live stream that feed out to somewhere and you can always use this as a channel to switch to. Really handy little device considering it is so small and affordable. Little cons and things to remember. Now yes, if your HDMI port does not supply enough power, you do need to connect that USB-C cable to the back over here. And this end you can either just plug into a power bank or any form of power source. Now it only requires five volts, one amp, and uses 2.5 watts of power. And using basic maths without any loss of power, a 5,000 milliamp power bank should power this for around 10 hours, which is far more than you'll probably ever need. Is the fact that you have to power this a con really? Maybe for some, but at the same time, you need to remember that larger transmitters in this require NPF batteries. So it's really not too much of an issue. And adding a battery to this would have lifted the price, number one. Number two, at the same time, would have just increased the size. So it's really not that bad considering some HDMI ports may actually give this enough power to operate. The latency. Now, to be fair, this isn't really a con of this device considering you are only paying such a small price for this device. At $159 for this pack that I have, trying to achieve zero latency is completely idiotic. Zero latency devices cost thousands of dollars just to achieve that. And RGB Link promises around 100 milliseconds of latency. Now this isn't designed to be used for a main camera and transmit video feeds of 400 meters or 600 meters or 1,200 feet. This is designed merely for situations you may be in, in terms of presentations and getting video feeds across that need to be displayed in a specific environment. Now, 100 milliseconds is 0.1 seconds for those that wanna know, which also equates to about maybe two frames. As you can see here, there is latency. And honestly, it's minimal. Invisible for any form of PowerPoint presentation and probably a video feed that you're gonna be playing out on there. The only time that you're really gonna see this if your audio source and your video source, and this being that video source, is supplied separately to a mixer, and this video source shows the person's mouth talking. You would then have to delay your audio, but you could still use this for a wide angle if you're not really looking at the person's mouth and you just wanted to show a room. You could use this as a video transmitter. 
the verdict. To be 100% honest with you, and that is something I'm on this channel is I do love honesty. This device is perfect. RGB Link isn't promising you something that they are not giving you. They are not promising you zero latency or 2000 feet. What they are promising you is that this device works the way it's intended, and it does. The fact that this device is extremely affordable makes it a lot more usable for a lot more creators. Whether you're in the video space or you just own an office and you're trying to send a HDMI feed from one point to another point, this works. If you don't have an Apple TV at home or a smart TV, you could plug your receiver into the back of the TV and you can airplay or mirror cast videos to your TV. So yeah, if you're looking for a wireless video transmission system on a budget that actually works, and if you do want to double up and use it as a video source, maybe a live stream on an actual camera, like a Panasonic or a Sony Canon camera with an HDMI port, you can use this. Just make sure that you are using it for the wide shot. I do want to say thank you to RGB Link for sending this through to me and that I can show you guys. I do keep this with me in my live stream kit all the time because I have been at numerous jobs and events where someone has a laptop and I need to get the feed from their laptop to my mixer and I can just plug the transmitter in and the receiver and I'm good to go. So that's it from me. If you do have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I will put a link in the description where you can pick these up, the this kit as well as the two receiver transmitter kit. I'll put a separate link for both and you guys can just check it out. Thanks for watching wherever you are in the world. Have a good day, good evening, good night, goodbye.